After becoming familiar with the main concepts of 2D and 3D modeling in 3DS Max, we can start working on our digital mock-up design. In this class, we will study the basic techniques for importing architectural drawings from other software interfaces. To begin with, let's learn about working with basic importation resources and then more advanced ones. First of all, define metric units for the design by assessing unit setup. Enable metric units in the display unit scale option. From now on, all models in our design will be measured in metric units. Now we need to import a design for the floor plan, which will be referenced to in our modeling. The attached floor plan should already be adjusted to 3D modeling, and also all shapes on the floor plan must be closed. Open shapes will cause problems when converting them from 2D to 3D. This open file has already been adjusted. Then just access the application menu and click import to find the final course plan file in the course file folder. Now take a look at the dialog box importation options for DWG files. The model scale group is very important for the design. This defines the active scale unit in your work. Scale problems can be confusing when applying measurements and double your work when performing the rendering process. Select the Rescale option, and then we can change the unit in the design. In the Derive AutoCAD Primitives group, change the default option to Layer Blocks as Node Hierarchy. This option makes all entities in an AutoCAD layer be interpreted as a single object in Max. Blocks will be separated as independent objects on their respective layer. See the options on the Layer tab. There you will see all files designed in AutoCAD. Let's unselect the layers which are not necessary. See how the hatches, dimension markings, and other things are no longer necessary. There are settings on the Spline Rendering tab, which can be edited later on, and for this reason we won't make any changes, just click OK. See how the drawing of the house has been imported successfully. Notice there are two floor plans in the scene. This is because there are two stories in this residential design. We can also see the front and side views together on these floor plans. There is another way to import floor plans or 3D models from AutoCAD to 3DS Max. The File Link Manager is a command that works the same way as the Import command. This makes it possible to make changes in AutoCAD files, for example, so they are automatically viewed in Max. Our settings are related to the parameters studied in this class. We have studied about importing a floor plan from another software. 